While Title 42's extension means migrants face a longer wait along the U.S. southern border, the country is still taking in asylum seekers. These migrants' names were called from the waiting list this morning and now find themselves legally on U.S. soil in Brownsville, Texas. It's not easy. You leave your family behind, seeking a better future for your children and grandchildren. But I'm grateful to be here and to be welcomed. Michael Benavides is the founder of Team Brownsville, an NGO that provides the new arrivals with essential supplies. We do try to provide them with, you know, whatever we can, just to, so they can travel with some dignity, so they can get on a bus smelling fresh and, and with nice clothes. For Michael and his team, the extension of Title 42 was a disappointment. We were excited to, and we were preparing ourselves to have large quantities of people coming through. And uh, when it was lifted, uh, it was just heartbreaking, just heartbreaking because I guess the people that make these decisions don't really understand uh, how impacted the people are by it. Gladys Cañas runs an NGO that works closely with Team Brownsville on the Mexican side of the border and sees no change coming with or without Title 42. El, el flujo migratorio no va a parar. The migration flow will not stop, and that depends more on the conditions in the migrants' home countries. If those countries do nothing to resolve their own issues, then people will continue to migrate away from them. For those now inside the US, Michael says their choice of which asylum steps to take next may make all the difference. Some people go to more uh, asylum-friendly judges and, and uh, counties. You know, the, the judges, the courts are just much friendlier. And, and New York State currently has the highest approval rate uh, for asylum as opposed to, I believe it's Arkansas has the lowest. So it, it really depends on where they land, uh, but they all do have to go through a, a court process. As these migrants step onto US soil, they have reached the end of the migrant trail, but it's just the start of the asylum fight to remain. Alastair Bavistock, CGTN, Brownsville, Texas.